So this is the starting point for the Great Plains Moto Meat Ride right here at Frontier Harley-Davidson. We're on the north side of the building. And so when you come in, the driveway is right in the north driveway. And then it'll come in and just stay to the north. And then we'll just park in this area. Now it's very easy to find because of all my burnouts. <laughs> It's not. This is where they, they do the stunt show. When they do the stunt shows. So find the burnouts. We're going to park on the burnouts. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Alright. So in this video. Should have said hello Stevie's first. Hello Stevie's. <laughs> in this video. Um, next week is the Great Plains Moto Meat Ride. So we are going to go around and show you. Just some of the sights and attractions. That you're gonna to get to see on the Great Plains Moto Meat Ride. Just just some of them. 13, <laughs> 14. We have the Rever app going. So we're gonna we're gonna record this entire trip. Won't this be fun? Go ahead, go ahead. I wanna lead. You're good at it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Just getting better and better every time. Oh man, so how is everybody doing today? It is an awesome day here in old Nebraska. 84 degrees. A little windy, but man, I tell you what, I'm getting plenty of air now because I don't have a piece of plastic in front of me blocking everything. I know that the windshields serve their purpose, but I, uh, I like it more better without it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like we it said, will, go ahead. It will stay on a little hot so we get going. Yeah. But I'm good. That's what's nice about no windshield is that the vents in your helmet actually pick up air and you can feel air going through them not so much with the windshield on because the windshield stops all the air from hitting your helmet it's <laughs> great with the half helmet don't get me wrong so yeah this is going to be um, a build-up video for the Great Plains Moto Me ride what's up hottie so you know something that chaps my gears? What? Why is it that when you talk to somebody and they find out that you ride a motorcycle, they instantly have to tell you the worst story possible that they have about a motorcycle? <laughs> oh yeah, my buddy used to ride motorcycles and then he got hit by a truck and got spread across the highway and he died. Like, oh, that's great. Thanks for the confidence, bud. <laughs> That was a huge boost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go trade in my bike. Hey, I hope when you go in there to pay for your gas that nobody robs the place and shoots you in the face. That hasn't happened to me, but it's happened to my buddy. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> my buddy went into a gas station one time and somebody just blew his head <laughs> off. So, good luck in there, bud. <laughs> I'm glad you picked the pay inside option. <laughs> I don't know why people do that. Uh, Maybe, maybe the the big thing is is kind of like when we were buying or looking at vehicles when ours was getting serviced or whatever. Mm -hmm. When that guy said, "Oh, I used to ride. I had such and such," and then he has to tell you that huge story <laughs> right. as to why he right. doesn't ride anymore. So you never had a I good think, time riding it. Well, <laughs> I think it's because back in his head, in his mind, he's still a rider, but he misses it. But this is the reason why he doesn't. So he's just trying to make himself feel better because that's why he gave it up. Yeah, well, I'm glad he felt better. <laughs> that's the way I think about it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that view. So this is Branch Oak Lake. And as you guys can see, it's a lot of people out there. We should rent a sailboat. Yeah. 
I don't That's know how fun. to. I don't have no idea how to sail, but I can give it a shot. We're only gonna only gonna go one direction, <laughs> and that's the way the wind's blowing. <laughs> you know what made me the most excited when I learned how to ride? Huh. When I actually stopped to think, oh my gosh, I know how to ride a motorcycle. Oh my gosh, that means I have three motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> or at right. that time it was two. Because if you can ride one, you can ride them all. Every one of them. And this area is the Bohemian Alps. This is where a lot of settlers from like Czechoslovakia came and they stopped here because it reminded them of home. Pretty big area here in Nebraska, big Czech community. It is 55 on this road though. Just so you know. What? It's 55 on this road. 55? Yep. Oh. I'm good with going whatever speed you want to go. I just want you to know. <laughs> I didn't know if you knew or not. I knew it, I guess, when I redid my my cruise control. I didn't think about it. Hmm. Just hit the old resume, huh? Yep. Yeah, the cop would have believed that story. I feel like I'm crawling. <laughs> but you're getting good gas mileage. <laughs> Whoa! What? I hate to make people feel bad, but when you do something like that and you realize you were dumb, you need to be reminded. <laughs> you know? Like I said, I'm a big fan of these Bohemian Alps, these hills and stuff. I love it. Yeah, it's no flat. Hmm. No boringness. Right. Not boring at all. Lots to look at. I mean, it is a lot of farm ground still, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But in a week, but the crops will be taller, so the fields will look prettier. I'm so excited to see everybody next weekend. I am too. Like, so be fun. excited. Saw Misty and Brian yesterday at the local Harley dealer, and they were, they're excited about coming. This is going to be our first stop right here at this little Sinclair station. It's 73 miles from Frontier Harley-Davidson to here, the way that we went. Um, I, they don't have 93 octane, but if your bike needs gas, bring some octane boost and you can, you can top her off here. So we are going to get a pop here, or a bottle of water probably, here. Oh, they're closed, you said. What was that? Oh, okay, thank oh, you. Okay, so we're not. Ready? Yep. Watch. So right up here on the left, this is Czech Lake. Czech land lake, sorry. Czech land lake. I remember when I was a little kid and they were building that lake. You know what I like about this? Huh. Is it doesn't always feel like we're in Nebraska. Right? I don't know why. <laughs> no chickens. No chickens. Huh? No chickens. Oh, why does it say that? I don't know. He hates chickens. Oh, oh. No, it's 10,000. I need to stop. Okay. And after Ready? this car behind us, we'll be good. Okay. And this is like Oahu. We just 
made what a 15 minute pit stop there in meet right. meet nebraska said I got you cleaning off my helmet because I recorded the whole thing. <laughs> Did you? Mm-hmm. This is my favorite place right here. Yes. Mine too. Beautiful lawn. <laughs> we are coming into Nahaka. This is the end of the Great Plains Moto Meat Ride. So a week from today when we come rolling in here, hopefully there's a bunch of baseball games on here and stuff then too. I've coached many a games on that baseball field right there. I don't know where the thing is though. What, the curb? Yeah. Straight back. Okay, so we are here in Nahaka at the end of the ride. Um, we ate here again. The food is great. Uh, they're expecting us, I guess. That's that's the bonus part. But it was a great ride, very scenic. We've talked to Brian about the length. It is a little bit longer than we thought. It's about 176 miles or so with a little bit of added added features that we're doing. Right? Features? Right. Sure. Little, Detours we're taking. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Detours. It's camera, Joe. It's all right. Keep going. Um, so we'll see you guys next Sunday. And uh, don't know when this video is going to come out. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday. So 